Hello, welcome to some more Tesla news. It never ends. <laughs> I shouldn't have waited so long, but we got big news. The big news is free supercharging as we know it is over or will soon be over or will be more limited. <laughs> so if you own a current Tesla Model S or X or you're planning to buy one before the end of the year, I think it's like January 17th or something, you're good to go. You're grandfathered in free supercharging for life, uh, long distance trips. After that, Tesla's gonna be charging a nominal fee about the price of filling up a normal car with gasoline if you use the superchargers. This is to kind of alleviate the congestion. They say it's not gonna be a profit center. They're gonna use the revenue to build out this, the supercharger network more, pay for electricity, you know, that sort of thing. <laughs> Let me know if you think that's a good thing. I mean, that's like one of the appeals of buying a Tesla is you charge for free. But obviously, you know, if on a $100,000 car, that makes some sense if there's not that, that many of them out there. But if there's a $30,000 car and there's gonna be a million of them. Um, so all Teslas ordered after January of next year are no longer gonna be free unlimited supercharging. They're gonna give a free thousand miles about of free supercharging for like all the Model 3 orders or any new Tesla orders and current Tesla owners, I believe, are gonna be grandfathered in. So, like, my Tesla should still be able to charge unlimited at superchargers for free. Although they still discourage local supercharging. Super charging. You're supposed to charge your car at home. Superchargers are for long distance travel, which I do a lot of. And I'd use up that thousand miles in the first month. <laughs> it's, uh, I think they're having a harder time getting permissions to put in the chargers then they are getting like funding to put, build them and put them out. But they're, they're, they're doing a pretty good rate. Um, also in Supercharger News, they, they're, they're working on I-80. They finally got construction going like all the way across Nebraska, which has been on the map for years and they finally are doing it. And hopefully they'll continue it into Wyoming. They, they say at the end of the year, but um, there's no construction started yet. <laughs> and I really need it. Um, I need it so bad, in fact, that I started my own company, Wild West EV, so I can put charging <laughs> stations around Wyoming. Um, I know there's other people, not just me, that think Wyoming is like a charging desert and there needs to be more charging. So I'm putting up these, the, the highest amperage level two stations so you can charge at the fastest rate that your Tesla can go off of a level two, which is below superchargers. Um, and this will, these will also work on the Chevy Bolts and any other next gen long range EVs. Back to Tesla news. Our Autopilot Hardware 2.0 um, is out in the wild now. There's pictures you can see of units that have come off the line and they got the cameras embedded real stealth-like inside the emblems and the pillars. And it's pretty cool that you, you can see from this tweet that they're, if, you if you're looking at a distance, you can't tell the difference between uh, a Tesla with the full autonomous Autopilot hardware versus one without. They, 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 blend right in with the car, it's not obtrusive. They got heating elements, if they get covered in like snow or anything, they'll melt off. They're kind of up higher so they don't get splashed with things. Very smart. So George Hotz, the, the iPhone PS3 hacker guy that made his comma company, and the comma one, which was gonna be a little dash, uh, you replace your rear view mirror with it and gives you autopilot-like functionality for $1,000 he called it quits. <laughs> he got one little warning from the National um, Highway Transportation Safety Authority place and they said, hey, you know, this doesn't look terribly safe. What, what, what do people do without the mirror and uh, how does it work? And, they, and he said, like, ah, I'm getting pestered by the man, I quit. <laughs> I'm going to China and see if there's a market for this. So that's a little disappointing because $1,000 to add semi-autonomous features to a regular car would have been really sweet. Hopefully he'll release the source code or something or it'll end up in another company's product down the line, but you know, things that are too good to be true usually are. Speaking of which, uh, the opposite's also true. <laughs> uh, Elon Musk tweet, tweeted out that the P100D isn't fully unlocking all its power yet. So that means he's, he's just saying, ah, you know, We've been playing with our left, we've been fighting with our left hand and uh, we're actually right-handed. So, you know, 
when we start using a right hand, it's going to be way better. In reference to Princess Bride, I butchered that, but he's referencing the Princess Bride and, and, and the fact that the, the P100D is actually more powerful than they've been leading to believe. So there's going to be an Easter egg to unlock that, hopefully by Christmas, or maybe, maybe sooner if somebody figures it out, if it's in the current software. It's probably going to be in the next software. Probably 8.1. Okay, so Model S news. <laughs> Tesla now has the option to order an all glass roof on the Tesla Model S, similar to what you see on the Model 3. So that's cool. Uh, it's an option in between the regular solid roof and they actually recommend it because it gives it a little bit more height and it looks really good. It's not as much as expensive as the panoramic roof, uh, but you don't have the roof racks for luggage and you don't have XM radio for some reason. We'll get, we'll get more into that in just a second, but we'll get into the Model 3 news. So the Model 3 is going to feature a new type of glass developed in-house and uh, <laughs> has a, is going to have an option for solar. So that's pretty cool. they are going to build it right into the roof. And, and it's probably going to be a lot like the big unveil that they did a, couple, was a little over a week ago of the new solar roofs that are glass that um, they're really cool. They're, they look from the street, street like a normal roof, but if you're above them, you can see the, the solar cells in them. And they're super strong, so it, it makes sense. If Tesla's gonna be making those, why not put it on all, the, on all of the glass on the cars, and then they can add a few extra miles during the day. It's not gonna be a lot, but uh, he mentioned they might even have a deployable solar roof, so like maybe it'll slide out after you park and cover up the front part of your car or something, or who knows? It, I'll take whatever I can get. And it was also asked, would it be expensive? And he said, no. So that's cool. Um, so the, that is not an option yet on the Model S, but uh, in the, they said all of the, the best goodies will always be kind of like tested out on the S and the X. So I wouldn't be surprised if in the Mo Model 3 uh, part two, three unveil that they're gonna do, the next un details on the Model 3, they're gonna show off the option of the solar roof and now you can get it today on the Model S like they did with the Autopilot 2.0 hardware. They're like, this is what's going to be on the Model 3. Oh, and you can get it today on the S and the X. So let me know what you guys think. This, this is really exciting news the past couple weeks. I've been, every time I hear something, I'm like, oh, I'm going to put out a video tomorrow. And then there's like, oh, there's even better news. And it's just been building up for two weeks. <laughs> I've been working really hard on this, this charging network that I got. It's uh, wildwestev.com if you want to check it out, if you want to help, please let me know. Um, I'm looking for host places to put these chargers and it will cost nothing to the host and they'll earn a little bit of money. We'll get more chargers out there and I think it'll be really good. Back to more Model 3 news. So Model 3 early reservation holders, so the people that got it the first day are going to get something special, like maybe a, um, a special wheels or special color or a badge or who knows, but Elon says you'll get something special if you stood in line. So that's good. He also uh, had a party and they were showing off the, the latest prototype and there's a new steering wheel. So it's like kind of slimmer looking. So that's, that's interesting. Model X. So the Model X uh, is now available in the five seat capacity, which you could pre-order, but they didn't really show how it looked. Well, they finally showed it off and it's folding seats. So like a normal SUV, you can actually fold down the middle row of seats, which in the five-seater is actually the only back row of seats. But it gives it the uh, best in-class cargo space now because um, you can fold those seats flat. And I'm at a real toss-up because if I ever got an X, I'd want the extra capacity because my nephews aren't going to fit in those jumper seats forever. And um, yeah, they're going to need the real seats in the back, but I want them to fold. So maybe someday they'll, they'll add that as an option to have them middle seats fold and have rear seats, but I wouldn't hold my breath. And sp <laughs> speaking of holding your breath, got a, got a test drive, a P90D Model X on the weekend with my son, and it was fast. It was very fast. <laughs> the first uh, ludicrous um, Tesla that I had to actually drive. I, I rode in one once uh, before, but I never actually drove one. It was pretty cool. Uh, it's very interesting little things about the X, like that they don't have in the S, like little things like the lights, they have individual LEDs that you can press to change the brightness on the inside. 
you can control like all the doors. You can open and close them, the fronts and the back and the tailgate and everything. Very cool car, kind of pricey. <clears throat> so other general news kind of surrounding electric cars, um, the Chevy Bolts, the Chevy Bolts have gone into production. They're rolling off the line. They're going into California and Oregon. I can order one now. Well, I can almost order one. I can get the pricing and configure the one now here in Riverton, Wyoming, and they can order it any day now, supposedly. Um, and you may, might even be able to get one in by the end of the year, they told me. But I wouldn't hold my breath because I've been told all over the place on the internet that they're going to California and Oregon first. So that's cool. You can get it fully configured with all the options for um, just over 42,000, 43,000, somewhere in there. Um, yeah, and then you still get your big tax break, 7,500. And if you live in a state that actually cares about the environment, you get, um, <laughs> you know, like, I think it's like $6,000 um, over in Colorado. Um, I take that back. Our, our state does care about the environment, but they don't have any incentives. So, anywho, um, back to my Wild West EV. We're going to try and put chargers in. <laughs> oh, uh, Motor Trend took a, a bolt out to a Tesla meetup at a Supercharger. And they're like, hey, what do you guys think of this, you know, Chevy Bolt? People weren't, they were impressed. It was pretty cool, but nobody would want to cancel their Model 3 reservations for one. And that's your options right now. So if you want an electric car for around, you know, thirty to $40,000, you can either get, uh, well, a Bolt, a Volt, um, or you can get a Model 3, uh, maybe in a year. It sounds like they're actually going to have some volume production coming out the later half of the next year. Everything's, all the stars are aligning. Or you can get a Model S used. So I'm seeing a whole bunch of them pop up now in the $40,000 range, and a few of them maybe even slipping down in the $30,000 range. And man, if you put a, a Tesla Model S next to a Chevy Bolt, I'd be hard pressed to find anybody other than Wozniak who would want the, the Bolt versus the S. The only thing I can think of is if you live in a, ta uh, in a city where there's not a lot of space, the S is very big. And that the Bolt's being smaller, might be pretty appealing. So let me know what you think. Tesla or Bolt? Oh. Or wait it out for a Model 3 with the full full autonomy. <laughs> that's the big thing. I mean, I'm sure that's why they're getting rid of this, the free supercharging. Because if you can have a self-driving car that can go charge itself at night while you're sleeping and come back, um, yeah, nobody's going to charge at home when you can charge for free and have your car do it for you. <laughs> the Obama administration is with it and hopefully depending when you see this video, we'll know who our president's going to be. But uh, they'll continue with that, and they're going to help put charging quarters, I think it was almost 50 of them, across the United States, level three, so you, they're going to have them every 50 miles. They're going to be offering different uh, government-backed loans and grants to help make this possible. Uh, I'm going to try and get in on it and, and do as many as I can um, in Wyoming and surrounding states. It's, it's going to be cool. It's going to be nice when there's, there's public charging everywhere. I mean, it's great that we can charge at home and, and go 200 and some miles, but if you want to get back. <laughs> Superchargers are great if you live near one, and, and if they're not full. <laughs> but more charging, the better. I, I, don't, I don't care who puts it in, as long as somebody puts it in. And if they're not going to put it in, I'm going to try and put it in. So last, last but not least is the Powerwall 2. So they announced the Powerwall 2. It's 140 kilowatts, and it's got an inverter. It's for $5,500. You could power a small home that lives in a nice climate <laughs> with one. Or you can stack them. You can add a couple of them. I, I, I live in a pretty cold climate, and I have electric heat. So I probably need a few of them, uh, quite a few of them, if I really want to stay warm in the winter. <laughs> yeah, so I think I might be better off winterizing and getting some solar panels. But even if I don't, if I just put one power wall on my wall and I have it charge at night when it's a lower rates and utilize that power during the peak times during the day, I'm going to save some pretty good amount of money and I'd make the payment on the power wall. <laughs> so hopefully I'll get one um, this winter and I'll show it off to everybody and show you how it works and hopefully I'll get some solar panels on my roof by then. Uh, oh, that was... The, that was the big thing I didn't really talk much about was those new solar roof um, that, that Tesla is going to be doing with Solar City, or I guess with the acquisition of Solar City, 
there's going to be no solar city. It's just going to be Tesla solar, I guess. But yeah, that I mean, if you're going to replace a roof, it makes no sense just to put a normal roof on when you can get a solar roof that can cost less than the price of a normal roof and paying for the electricity difference is what Elon was saying. So it'll be interesting to see the final costs, um, you know, how much more uh, debt it'll put you in and how much it'll lower your electrical payment and everything. But it sounds like it could be pretty cool. And man, uh, having solar built into the car, so when you're just parked outside, you get a little bit extra juice, keep it warm, keep the snow off of it. it very cool. They're saying that these solar panels can heat up um, and clear the snow off the car or the roof of the house. They can have the element built into them. Very cool stuff. Let, let me know what you think. Please subscribe to this so I know that people are watching so I can make more videos. And uh, check out my Wild West EV. Let me know, let me know what you think. WildWestEV.com. Um, I need locations and hosts. Uh, if you guys want to host a charger, I, potentially I'll go anywhere in the United States, but I'm, I'm trying to stick with Wyoming and surrounding states right now. Places that don't have any charging right now. That's what I'm trying to hit. I'm trying to fill in the gaps that like Tesla and uh, other groups are leaving behind. I'll, I'll put the charger in for free. The host will get um, some money and they, don't have, they won't have uh, to worry about the extra expense of paying for the electricity. So it'll work out great. Um, I'm Pox at TwoSmartGuys.com or, or uh, Pat.Lawson at Wild West EV. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again, guys again soon. Come out and play! Uh, like when they do music videos and, and there's a beat and it kind of goes blurry. Like, you know, like, like with the bass. Like, <laughs> What is that? Okay, where is this saying? I never seen Dick Clark is during the... If you don't understand how it's a huge deal, start watching all the videos. Another game save exploit. The cool thing about this one is it works with all these things across the board. I know I could get at least 5,000 down the street. Looks stronger to me. Yes, it's a lie. I'm Yago. I'm Couch Guy. Hi, I'm Fox. And I'm Raggable. Pretty cool stuff, huh? What? And where can you find that? You better go wait outside. We don't, we don't want any trouble.